All right, does this work well enough for you? Yeah. Um, Mr. Stewart, I know it's not amazing, but it, I'm hoping it's big enough. Thinking of titling this vlog, <laughs> I'm no longer a virgin. That'll get me a lot of hits, I know that. <laughs> And that means people click on it because they look up dirty words or fetishes or what weird shit. <sighs> Had my very first Zoom thing today. A university student uh, is doing a study and I'm one of 75 participants. And uh, it was very, it was, uh, it was educational for me actually. It was uh, looking up information on a particular medical condition and uh, asked me questions about it, like uh, who wrote it, uh, could I tell whether it was professional or not, and you know, they had a couple different sites for me to look at. And then they wanted to know when I would look for the answers, why I chose what I did. But uh, me having a healthcare background, my mom was a nurse, I worked in medical records, my son's a nurse, <clears throat> so, uh, you know, I had to take all that medical stuff, so, I'm probably a little more versed in some of it than s normal people, of course, I'm not normal anyway, so, <laughs> yeah, really nice, it uh, wasn't so bad. It wasn't so bad. The bath water was hot at first, but it was okay. Mmm, <laughs> a speckle and a glass of blood. No, it's um, passion fruit tea. Came over to try to finish the backyard. And what do we have? Do we have ignition? Push the button, pull the lever. Nothing. See, it's smoking. <laughs> had just enough gas in there and managed to get it moving. And I mowed the, the rest of the yard. Thank God. Oh my God. It was almost up to, well, it was up to my knees in some spots. Oh my God. All this shit needs trimming. That crap. And this crap, and there's poison ivy in there, and I can't touch poison ivy or I am a mess. So the sun Joe had managed to mow part of the backyard, which isn't terribly big, and it ran out of battery, because I was taking my time, and uh, charged it back up and brought it over here, should have tested it first. It's a no-go. It's a P.O.S. Piece of shite. I am wringing wet. My shirt is stuck to me. It's, I'm just, eh, a big sweat ball. Sweaty ball of fat and bones and skin. Oh, God. Ugh. Shower's gonna feel really good when I get home. <sighs> I think I'll leave the one that worked over here in the garage and but the, uh, the electric jabber, he's going back. If they won't give me my money back, then I will have to get something else. I don't know. I'm going to have to fall back and punt. I really don't know what to do. I don't want to have to do this anyway. There's just so much weeds and crap and just unbelievable. Rick never really maintained it when he was here either. I mean, he'd get on the lawnmower and sit on it and ride around and cut the grass, but he never trimmed the bushes or anything else. And I did that a couple years ago. I took everything out of here and it's all back plus. Yuck. Today, I'm um, about two miles from here. Big parking lot where Kmart used to be. They, they assembled at 4.30 for a peaceful protest march down Lindbergh, which is Highway 67. Uh, I didn't go. I could have gone to film it or whatever. Didn't look, they had it on the news. It didn't look like anyone was wearing masks, which I think you still should. But, uh, 
I just don't want to be involved in anything. I don't need to get hurt, or just in case. It looks more peaceful than any other thing I've seen. So we know how to do it up here in Florissant, right? Don't don't make me wrong. <laughs> Tonight at 9 p.m. Central Standard, 8 Mountain, and 7 Pacific, and 10 Eastern. Well, all across the country at, at that hour for um, 8 minutes and 46 seconds, we're shining a flashlight up into the sky as a kind of like a peaceful protest in honor of George Floyd. So I'll be doing that for sure. Uh, I don't know, man. Being outside, it's really humid out here, but it is nice. It is really nice. Take away the humidity and I'm fine. But uh, I could never live in Mississippi or Florida or anywhere that just you drenched all the time. Cat's probably starving to death. He'll be giving me one of those, I'm starving to death, where have you been? See my bones popping out of my fur. How dare you, woman. Yeah. I think I'm having pork chops tonight, and then I'm going to make chicken soup for tomorrow, so I'll have it ready. So I took that bits of meat out of the refrigerator, out of the freezer, so... I'm going to let you go here, and now, uh, it still hasn't really rain rained and hailed and all that like they said it's going to, so, I don't know, I may end up bringing this lawnmower here back, the red one, back to mow my grass, because it's got, it has become long, unless I can figure out how to get that other one moving, it has a new blade, and I cleaned it all up, I just think that the governor is not hooked up correctly that's the thing that makes it go faster or slower the engine revolutions so I don't know maybe I'll ask the neighbor kid if he has any idea he's a young guy he said he helped me look at it sometime I don't know if he knows he fixes the cars but so who knows who knows what lurks in the minds of men my cat does and he's waiting for me Upward and onward. I hate when the neighbor across the street parks right there at the end of the driveway. He's only asking for it. <laughs>